All right. Dr. Davis. All right. I'm Eric Vickery and Paula Harris is going to be reviewing this with us too. I'm going to go over a new bonus opportunity for everyone and I'm going to share my screen so you can see it and then you guys can use this as training. So really easy to follow. What we're going to do is focus in on uh, hygiene unscheduled patients. So here's what we know about a bonus program. We know that we're going to have to measure it, which I'll take care of that for you. We know that it's going to have to be achievable, which Dr. Davis and I have just worked on to make sure we believe it's achievable. And we're going to give it a deadline, uh, a finish line. It's not just going to be ongoing forever. We're going to talk about that. Um, we're going to write it down. We're going to look at it right here. This is written down. And it's going to have to be a win-win. We want the employee to win in this. We want the patient to get healthier. And we want the practice to benefit, of course, as well. It's the business. It's the life source of all of our income. Uh, the reward must be desirable. So we thought $200 a month sounded desirable. Hopefully that is good for you guys. And this is going to be uh, a replacement for uh, the administrative and dental assistant team. Is that correct, Dr. Davis? Yes. Okay. So we're going to be, have the opportunity every month. It should be very easy for you to get $200 bonus. Let me show you how it works. Okay. We want to grow our hygiene number uh, of days to actually, this is going to say uh, we want 16 days per week, right? Dr. Davis. Yes. Right now we have 12. So that's what we want to grow to. It's in quotes because we know that's a plus or minus. We might get to 14, but that's our ultimate goal. Okay. I believe it'll take us at least six months um, full dedication by hygienist, assistants, and admin to achieve this goal. And that goal is to uh, reach 401 overdue patients. We may not reach all of those, or maybe some we decide not to, the, the um, less desirable ones, the people who have missed appointments, not paid their bills. But we know there's that many uh, at a given moment right now. And we know there's gonna be more that are gonna add to the list if we don't nurture this system, okay? So at least this is at least a six month program that we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a shot and see how it works for you guys. At the end of six months, we'll have a different plan, uh, a different system, a different bonus plan, something different to go after. Is that correct, Dr. Davis? Yes. Okay, all right, awesome. So what's fair? So you're gonna receive up to $200 per month for achieving an individual goal. So everybody's gonna do this on their own, but then as a, as a department team, we're gonna combine our, our, just our tracking. I'll show you how that's gonna look. So you're getting hundred dollars just for making your outgoing call, just for making calls. You're getting a hundred bucks in your pocket. Easy to do, right? That seems almost too easy. So if I just make the calls, I'll get, get a hundred dollars. We know that if we do that right, and Paul and I are going to work on how to make those calls with you as a team, we're going to train you so that you get good results. You know, you're going to hit that pretty easily. Get a hundred bucks. I'll review uh, what your target is here in a moment. And then you're going to get another $50 if you schedule at least 12 hygiene patients in that month, and you're gonna get another $50 or $100 total for at least 24 appointments scheduled per month. Now, this is a bit of a guess. We don't know exactly how many you can schedule, but we're gonna see. My guess is it's gonna be pretty darn easy to get to 150. It's gonna be a little bit tougher to get to $200. Does that sound fair, Dr. Davis? Yes. Okay. And we're gonna do our best to help you be as efficient and effective in that uh, endeavor as possible. So what are the qualifying parameters to receive your reward? Well, perfect attendance for that week and month. So if you're out, you're gonna get a prorated amount for this $200. So if you hit your target, you, you schedule 24 patients, you have 200 bucks, and then all of a sudden you're out for a week, uh, unplanned. Uh, I, th I think a planned vacation is different than this. I think this is an unplanned miss in attendance. And you miss a week, then you're going to lose 25% of that bonus. You're going to lose 50 bucks, right? Yes. So we want to also encourage really good attendance. And if you've been working and not missing work, then this is, doesn't mean anything to you, which most people are probably in that position. So perfect attendance to qualify for your full $200. Make sense? Yes. All right. Lastly. We have 401 patients right now that are overdue. This is just from 2019 and 2020. Our goal is to reach 100 of those patients each month. That's why you can see it's at least a four to six month project. We're not gonna reach all of them. There's gonna be some carryover. There's gonna be some new people added to the list. So 
At six months, we're gonna reevaluate and say, do we wanna continue this on a month to month basis? Give it another four months, whatever. We'll decide that before it's over. And so this will go July through the end of the year. So by January of 2021, we'll make a decision on continuing or doing something different, okay? Your feedback's gonna be really important on this. Uh, we're gonna do this individually, but if you are an administrative team member, our, your goal is to make at least eight outgoing calls per week. If you do that, four weeks, you're gonna get $100, pretty easy. Same on the RDA and assistant time. Now, assistants and RDA uh, and a hygienist might be saying, well, when am I gonna find time to do that? This is uh, a priority. When we have 401 overdue patients, that is a mountain to climb, and we need everybody on board to do this. So hygienists, when you have downtime to make eight, you might just need two hours a week to do this, make outgoing calls. Just so you guys know, Dr. Davis being the softy that he is, he lowered the number. I had a higher number here, uh, especially for admin, and he felt like it'd be fair to have eight and eight. I had more there, so thank you, Dr. Davis. <laughs> if you wanna make more than eight, then that's totally fine. If you wanna get all 32 of your calls done in one setting, sitting down, great. I'm gonna show you how to track that, okay? But we're gonna track it, all right? And then clinical team is when you have a cancellation, open time, schedule admin time, tell Dr. Davis, hey, I need time to make my outgoing calls, get permission to do that. And then we'll make sure you have, you just need an hour, maybe two a week to make these outgoing calls. Paul and I will review the system on what you'll say, uh, the notes you'll take, wh what you'll put in your, in your software. Okay. Now, how to track this. Let's take a look at this. So this is a tracker that I just created for you guys. Really easy. This is going to be a, a department. You're going to have a tracker. A, a, basically, this will say like January, it'll say July, August, September, October, and I'll have six tabs. And it'll say uh, admin team. And then there'll be a whole other tracker file that'll say assistance. And there'll be a whole other file that'll say hygienist. Because I want to see how can each department make calls. If it's yellow, like this one right here is yellow, it's going to total everything for you. You won't have to put any data in. And we're only focusing on this section right here. Number of calls made, how many did you schedule, and did you schedule them on the first contact? Or did they call back, okay? And Paul and I will show you how to know how to do that. And then your admin team will say, you know, hey, Eric, you made an outgoing call. Uh, I just scheduled that person. And then you can go put it on your tracker or they can put it on there for you, okay? So how it works is on day one, I put the date in, and I just say, how many calls did I make today? Maybe I make eight calls in one day for my whole week. How many did I schedule? I might've scheduled two. And I scheduled two of them on my first contact. And then later on, some people call back and they schedule. I'm just gonna change this to four. If you want, if they schedule that day, you don't have to. We know there's gonna be trickle in uh, effect. You don't need to worry about the rest of this tracker from G on. That's for us to do some later projects down the line. I just wanted to have it in here if we decide to work on case acceptance or dollar amounts. Now, how this works is there's, a, there's 31 days in here. So each department is gonna have four team members up to, and they're gonna put number of calls they make and number they schedule, and that way you can track it. And then what'll happen is at the very top, it'll start to total for us, and then we'll know how many patients we actually scheduled and what our success rate is, okay? So, mm -hmm. Dr. Davis, I went through that pretty fast. Do you think the team's gonna understand that part of it? Yeah, I think that's something we'll probably have to break, maybe do a little breakout session to just you know, really Work explain on. it to them. Yep, yep. And it's literally just saying, how many calls did I make? And out of those calls, how many scheduled? Usually if they scheduled, you're gonna put them over here on first contact, okay? Maybe somebody calls you back and you get them and go, oh, I just scheduled that person, that was my person. You go in here and you put a three. That wasn't on first contact, you don't change this number. Pretty mm -hmm. easy, okay? And then we'll sure. get this percentage rate to start showing up up here. I just gotta fix a formula before I send it to you guys, okay? Make sense? Yes, sir. All right, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And what I'd say is, Paul and I, the next step is for us to meet with the team and do a team training. I've got that by YouTube, there's a link uh, that I sent out, and then she's got a handout called CPR, and it helps you on what you say when you call the patient, how you take notes, but we'd love to do that training live, all right? So do we need to get a camera like set up in that big teaching room that we can, because we got a big teaching room next door. We've yeah, got a smart board. We just don't know the smart board doesn't have a camera on it. Right, Yana? 